this is June from New Orleans Potions, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of the lipsticks, uh, excuse me, lip stains, chemical free, mineral based lip stain. I make these lip stains for my Etsy store, New Orleans Potions. I make them for my website, um, NewOrleansPotions.com. I've also been a nail tech for 40 years, and I use and I make these lipsticks and I sell them in my salon as well. So, um, some, I'm going to show you the tools and supplies that I use, but if you want to see a complete list and a little better uh, explanation, you can go to um, my video that I made for tools and supplies for making lipstick and lip stain. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my recipe card. I write everything down and name it and file it. So the first thing I'm going to use is three tads, which these spoons come in five. I think it's a, a drop, a smidge, a pinch, a dash, and a tad. You can get these from TKB Training, uh, trading.com. Sorry. So this is my calcium carbonate. This is a mineral. I'm going to put three tads in. This is what makes up the mineral base of the lipstick. Two and three. And then I'm going to put two tads of magnesium cerate, which is another mineral. You can go on tkbtrading.com and you can look these up and they will give you detailed explanation of how what they are and what they're used for. And then I'm going to use two tads of magnesium myristate. That's one, two. And that makes up the mineral foundation for the lip stain. And then the next thing I'm going to put is three large scoops of titanium dioxide. This is oil dispersed dioxide. Um, this is what it comes in. Or this is the package. You can get it in six grams, one ounce um, packages. And let's see. My titanium dioxide is three large scoops. What this does is this makes up the color, but you can also use this for lightening a color because it um, makes the lipstick opaque so it's not th see-through. Okay, so that's your three large scoops of titanium dioxide. Now I'm going to use six large scoops of red number seven, which is a lake dye, and it's going to be these. Um, also, too, you probably need to, when you, if you're making them for yourself and friends, it doesn't matter, but if you're selling them, you're going to probably need to order those um, uh, in a batch certified. Um, I get that from justpigments.com because it's a little less expensive. But you can also get it from tkbtrading.com. All right, six large scoops of Red Lake Dye 27. Three. Okay, that's six. You can see it's pretty messy. Um, you should probably be wearing gloves. I just don't particularly care to, but I probably need to. Okay, so we're gonna do six medium scoops of um, red oxide. This is a pigment. is going to be six. Make sure you use your red oxide because there's another one and I sometimes they just look the same. I get them confused and it's red oxide blue shade. But this is red oxide red shade. Okay once I've got all my minerals in there and um, the titanium dioxide, the red lake dye 27, and the uh, red oxide is what's going to make up the color of this. 
So I'm going to use my whisk, which I get at TKB Trading, and I'm just going to stir them, stir it together. Almost everything I get from TKBTrading.com, or I, um, they have almost anything you could possibly imagine when you're making your products. And then I get some containers and things from uh, Cosmetics.com. That's Q-O-S-M-E-D-I-X.com. And sometimes I get jars and things off of Amazon. Just depends on what I'm looking for. Okay, now that that's stirred, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is um, preservative cap 2, and I'm going to put um, one drop of this in. I turn it upside down so it doesn't waste because I can get one drop out, and then it sucks it back in and keeps it from wasting it. And then the next thing I'm going to put is TKB uh, Trading makes a, a vitamin E um, oil as well. It's a little thicker, so I like to use this one when I'm making my lip stains. So I'm only going to put um, two drops. And vitamin E is a natural uh, preservative as well. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to put is we're going to put uh, nine mils of castor oil. And this is the syringe I draw it up with. I Most of the time I use a 10 mil syringe. But sometimes when you're first starting out, you might want to use a 3 mil. Just, it just makes, helps you make smaller products. I always draw a little bit up and then draw it up again um, to get the air out. So this is going to be 9 mil. So this is almost a full syringe because this is a 10 mil. So this is 9 and I'm going to add the oil. And do it kind of slow, because if you do it really fast, you'll push the uh, minerals and pigments out the side. Okay, once that's in there, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this spatula to stir it. And this is called Nolens. You know, um, one of the, some of my research, there was this lady, she's not online anymore, but she talked a lot about licking poison, and that's why she started making natural lipsticks. And it's true, the FDA says you can only get so much of the chemicals and things that are in store-bought store lipsticks. Um, DrAxe.com has a good article on um, store-bought lipsticks that tells you what in it and it also explains to you how much we eat so I feel better about wearing my uh, mineral lipsticks I named most of my products after the city I was born which was New Orleans and that's why this is Nolens. this is kind of a dark um, shrimp color when it's blended this takes a little bit longer because it's a stain, um, but once I get it in the oil, and you can see some of the powder coming out um, from stirring it. And since, let's see, I'm just making this to show it. I'm not real concerned about clean, but um, if I were making this for a client, whatever falls out, I leave out, and I try to, and I keep my hands very clean. I clean everything with a. Uh, 91% alcohol. But you can see how messy it is. That's why I like to use kind of like a stiff spatula. It just kind of helps uh, mash it. Now that I got most of that done, you can keep going with this spatula until you get it completely blended. I have um, a drill that I bought, I don't use anymore at my nail salon. And uh, my husband made um, some different types of bits that fit into my drill to help me with stirring. pick up my drill okay. 
and we're going to stir this. I could be a little bit faster. I could be a little bit faster. But you can see what this is doing. It's going to blend everything together perfectly. And then what I do is I let this set 24 hours. And I might need to tweak the color in the morning. Maybe a smidge more um, castor oil. But uh, most of the times, no. And then what I do is I... you. I haven't tried putting these in the tubes yet because one of the things I liked about the um, stains is they're a little thicker. Um, and so I put these in pots instead. And pots are a lot easier to fill um, than tubes. But I show how to fill the tube um, in my supplies and tools video for lipsticks and lip stains. But you see how quick this goes and it gets it really smooth and you can see more of the color come out. But like I said, you can get the same effect with the spatula. This is just faster. Alright. And this is very messy, but I don't mind because I like fooling with paints and pigments and mica powders and I really kind of enjoy it. I do try to stick to the same clothes because um, it gets everywhere, unless you wear an apron or uh, gloves on your hands. Okay, um, that is the color of Nolens. It's kind of a dark, um, shrimpy color. It may not look exactly like that right this minute, but tomorrow morning after it's had time for everything to set together, it's going to be a little bit truer to the color. And I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. So you can see the color. As much color and blending that I do, I, I just have a hard time describing um, the colors. You know, if you want to remake these, you can name them anything you want and describe them however you'd like. But I call it kind of a dark pinky um, shrimp color. Anyway, I make these... Um, lip stains and I put them on my New Orleans Potions Etsy store. They're on my NewOrleansPotions.com um, and I also sell these at my salon, NailsByJune.com but you can make these just for yourself. You can make these to retail and you can make these for gifts. Um, you can do whatever you'd like with them. I love them. I use them all the time and every time I make these I always make little small samples to bring to work and I give them away to my clients so they can try them. And this is the tube I was talking about that um, you can put them in if you'd like. Um, like I said, refer back to that uh, my tools and uh, supplies video for lipsticks and lip stains. But I like putting them in these jars and try not to mess these up. This is a 10 gram jar or 10 mils. Um, that's about two and a half times the amount of what lipstick, um, how lipstick comes. And so once I put them in here, um, I have a lip brush. So when I sell those on my Etsy store, I sell those with a lip brush to try to make it more convenient to compensate by not putting it in this um, particular tube. Anyway, this is June from New Orleans Potions. And this is uh, my Nolens lip stain. Thanks and hope you tune in back to my channel because I will be making more colors of lipsticks, lip stains, um, uh, acrylic blends, and um, gel polish and nail polish.